I really like the fact that this episode confirms that Erwin was actually planning to actually capture this Titan alive the whole time. And it just shows that Erwin has had this plan in motion for so long that he was expecting this female Titan to show up on their expedition. I really like that. How's it going guys? We have episode 19 of Attack on Titan and I really like this episode even though it feels very slow paced but I don't mean that in a bad way in, in at all really because what we actually get within this episode is actually essential to learning more about Eren and his Titan powers and we learn that all in a flashback to when he kind of first got introduced to the Survey Corps was kind of under their care and protection. But I just want to talk about the ending. I want to go a little bit out of order here, but I want to talk about that ending to this episode because I love the moment to where the female Titan is chasing after Aaron, Levi, and Levi's squad. And we get this moment to where it kind of goes freeze frame for like a little bit. And we get to see like behind trees and bushes and there's there's the equipment set up with people waiting for this female Titan to show up and the female Titan is looking at them. And I love the face that she makes because it's at this moment that she realized it's a trap. Admiral Akbar says it right up there. It is a trap. They have a trap set up for the female Titan and Erwin has expected this ever since they were about to go out on their expedition, even going into the forest. That way they've had all, all this coverage and also being able to use their 3D maneuver here. I love the planning that went into this. And I love the fact I get to use Admiral Akbar also within this video. So I'm just laughing a little bit at that but I love the fact that Levi leaves his squad you know under the care of Aaron and the Levi squad tells him to take his horse and he goes off to meet with Erwin and they're like all right we captured the bitch now so let's figure out who the hell is inside this and it ends on a pretty like climactic note which is like it makes you want the next episode so bad because you want to know who is inside the female titan and of course if you've already seen the series or if you've been speculating if this is your first time watching you can kind of guess like based on a few hints and clues who the female titan is I mean it's not that hard to guess who it is I'm not going to say within this episode until we get to that point to where it is revealed in a later episode which I think is a very cool reveal and I really can't wait to get to reviewing that but now we're going to backtrack we're going to go all the way back to the beginning parts of this episode because it starts off where the last episode ended with Levi with that kind of like flare gun that he had he fired it but it turns out it wasn't a flare gun it was actually like a sound blast and he was kind of using this to alert I guess the plan that, that the female Titan was coming, they're moving forward to br basically bring it into the path where they're able to capture it and capture it alive. And it's at this point that while everything is like happening, Levi's squad is actually following him without even knowing what the overall plan is. And it just shows how much faith they have in Levi. But Levi also has a lot of faith in Erwin. But meanwhile, while all this is happening, we have a lot of men dying in the back fighting this female titan trying to get it off of levi's squad's tail and even aaron is shouting at everyone's like why don't we go back and help these people it's a typical shonen trope that like you have like the main hero trying to go back and save everyone but i really like the fact that this is such a desperate situation that's like no you can't save everyone these people know their role and they're willing to give up their lives so that way levi's squad could make it to the point to where they're actually, you know, going to capture this female Titan. And er every loss of life is for the movement forward for humanity. It's grim when you think about it, but it's actually a real world scenario that kind of makes you like sit back and look at the overall situation. It's just like, no, this, this makes pretty good sense. But Aaron in this situation is starting to have doubts because he actually starts debating on whether or not he should transform into his Titan form and go and confront the female Titan that's chasing them. And it's at this moment that everyone within the squad is looking at Aaron. It's like, Aaron, believe in us. Like, don't, don't go off on your own and just believe in our captain and the plan that he has for us moving forward. And it's at this point that Levi even says to Aaron, it's like, all right, you have a choice to decide. You can believe in yourself or you can believe in the Survey Corps. And I really like this moment when Levi is actually talking with him because he even calls him a monster. And, he, and But he doesn't really mean him as like the female Titan. It's just like his mind is just so wild that he can't be caged by someone else's ideals. But within this episode, he ends up, you know, succumbing and actually believing in his squad and his comrades and actually moving forward with the plan, even though he has no idea what the hell is going on. But it's at this point that we actually delve into the flashback. Now, this flashback is very interesting because we actually get to learn more about Aaron's Titan form and how he's actually able to control it and actually summon it at will. And it's within this episode that we learn some different things. Like, we start off with Levi basically telling Aaron, it's like, all right, if you go into your Titan form and I ever have to get you out, I will cut off your limbs and just drag you out of the nape of the neck and your limbs will grow back. And right now, Aaron's like, well, hang on a second there. I don't even know if my limbs would grow back if you did that. And Levi's like, well, do you have a problem with that? And Aaron's eventually just like, no. 
no, I don't. <laughs> I really like that moment. <laughs> but then it's at this point that Hanji, off in the corner, is just waiting. She's like salivating at the mouth, just waiting to experiment with Eren and just getting to see more about this Titan form. I love Hanji within this episode. She <laughs> is probably my favorite female character besides Mikasa. I just love her overall personality and just how she's just so experimentative and just like so scientific. I love her character. But the plan they end up doing is they find this well in the middle of this field and they're basically going to place Aaron down on the bottom of it and he's going to transform into his Titan form. So if he's down in the well and transforms and goes wild and can't control it like what happened last time he tried to transform to pick up that boulder, then he'll be subdued and he can't get out of this well and he'll just like transform back and they can just continue this process over and over again and have no casualties whatsoever. So I really like this plan a lot. But as they start going through the plan, Aaron starts biting his hand, you know, going into transform and stuff, but nothing's happening. So Hanji and Levi end up going back to the well, and they see Aaron down there basically with bite marks all over his hand. He's like, I, I can't transform. Look at my hands. I can't transform. So they stop the experiments for right now until they figure out what is wrong with Aaron. And Levi just goes up right there and says, Aaron, figure this out right now. So they're all just basically like laying down, kind of like taking it easy. And we kind of see Levi's squad sitting around Aaron. They're kind of like really relieved that Aaron isn't actually able to transform into a Titan. And it makes you kind of question, it's like, why are they acting so nonchalant about this? This is like their key to actually saving humanity and getting to Wall Maria to Aaron's basement. And if they don't have that, they can't actually seal up the wall and re regain all of that land that they lost. And as we find out within this episode, there's a reason for that is because they actually fear Aaron's Titan form. And it's at this moment to where he, he drops a spoon from his tea that he's drinking and he goes to pick it up. And it's at this moment, he actually transforms into his Titan form. And everyone else is basically losing it at that point. Everyone's hysterical and everyone just, just can't think clearly at that moment because the Levi squad basically sees a Titan form and they're basically drawing their swords and ready to pounce on Aaron. Levi is basically dissolving the situation saying like, you guys need to back up right now. And Aaron is just scared out of his wits because all these people that were so nice to him before are now looking at him with murderous intent, ready to slaughter him on sight. And meanwhile, while everyone is so eager to kill Aaron right now, we have Hanji show up, who's just ecstatic with the fact that Aaron's Titan form has shown up. She's all giddy, she's all happy. She starts touching the arm and it's like, oh my God, it's hot. I love this this form. Her overall personality is like, I just love the way she acts within this episode. But she is the scientific one and she even notices the fact that this arm that the Titan form formed around actually went to go pick up the spoon that Aaron was reaching for that he dropped. And and later on within this episode, Hanji comes to the conclusion, and this is where we actually learn how Eren is able to transform into a Titan at all. And so we have the whole Levi squad sitting around the table. Hanji takes out the spoon, talks to Levi and Eren saying like, this was in your hand when you transformed into a Titan. So not only do you have to inflict pain on you by biting yourself to transform into a Titan, but you also need an objective or goal when transforming. Because when he was in the well, he didn't really have a set goal or objective by transforming into a Titan. He was just gonna transform just for shits and giggles, honestly, within the well. But since he wanted to pick up that spoon and he was already injured, he was able to actually access his Titan form. So it even goes back to the fact when he transformed previously, kill the Titans, block the hole in the wall. All of these goals he had in his mind when he transformed into a Titan. And so that's what allows him to access this form and actually fight Titans on their level. So while all of this information is being dropped on the whole squad sitting around the table, all of Levi's squad ends up looking at Aaron and saying, so you didn't transform on accident or on purpose to try to kill us. You just accidentally did that. And it's at this moment that they realize that they're kind of at fault for prejudging Aaron. And at that this moment, they actually bite their hands. And it's a form of apology to Aaron. And even that, like while they're biting their hands, they realize how painful that is. And it's like, wow, I can't believe you have to do this every time you go into your Titan form. And they all apologize to Aaron, which I think is really nice. It's a really nice moment to see them actually coming to terms with Aaron's Titan form and realizing that he's not just a monster, he's a comrade amongst the Survey Corps. And I love the, the line that they give saying like, if we rely on you, you have to be able to rely on us. And this all goes full circle from the flashback to the present day to where Aaron finally believes in everyone within the squad when the female Titan's chasing them. And then we get the whole events happening with where it got captured and it's a trap, all that shit. I really, really like this episode and it gives us a lot of useful information that we kind of needed 
on Eren's Titan form and the Titan abilities that Eren has. And I just love the fact that they now have the female Titan captured. They're able to now, you know, drag it back to whatever district they came from. I don't remember the name of it right now. And, you know, interrogate, question, experiment on. Just take this Titan away from the situation and just try to gain as much knowledge as they can, unless something bad happens, which we're gonna have to find out in the next episode, in episode 20 of Attack on Titan. But overall, really good episode. Like I said, it had slow pacing, but that was just natural because we had flashbacks within this and didn't get a lot of progression within the present timeline of them just being chased by the female Titan to where they actually were able to capture the female Titan. Overall, good episode, but I want to hear from you guys. What did you guys think of this episode when you first saw it? Did you like the information we got within the flashback, but also how the squad treated Eren before and after they kind of learned more about Eren's Titan form? But then at the very end of this episode, what were your thoughts when they finally captured the female Titan? Did you think that everything was going to go good from that point on, or did you suspect something bad was going to happen to where maybe the female Titan won't stay captured forever. That's kind of the cliffhanger that it's left on. It's like, we're very hopeful that this goes through, but we really don't know until we watch the next episode. So leave your thoughts in the comments below, guys. And if you guys feel like subscribing and actually just talking more about Attack on Titan with me, feel free to do so. I am just, I really like this series. And just to know that season two is almost here, I just want to talk with all of you Attack on Titan fans. And then hopefully eventually after season two and building up the hype for Attack on Titan, I would really like to read the manga. So leave your thoughts in the comments below if you think that would be a cool idea after season two of the attack on titan ends but overall i'm just really looking forward to delving into more of this series because we're coming down to the wire and season two is almost upon us so i'm really looking forward to that and i hope you guys are too anyway guys that's it for this video episode 20's review will be out in a few days and i'm really looking forward to delving into that episode and once we get into that episode we're only going to have five more episodes after that until we're all done with season one and season two will be right at our doorstep. So I'm really looking forward to that. So until episode 20's review, I'll talk with you guys then. All right, guys, see you later.